Hey, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be taking a close look at Lamb's Pride Worsted from Brown Sheep. All right, so this is Lamb's Pride Worsted, and let's take a look at some of the key facts you need to know about this yarn. First of all, this yarn is worsted weight. It's made from 85% wool and 15% mohair. It comes in a 190-yard skein that's approximately 113 grams. And this yarn is super great for warm pullovers and also for felted projects. Now let's take a closer look. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, Lamb's Pride Worsted. So this is a really great yarn. Um, like I said before, it's 85% wool and 15% mohair, um, which makes it a really great combination of fibers for like super warm garments. And then because this is worsted weight, it's a little going to be a little bit lighter than um, the other options that they have. They've got a bulky weight yarn as well. But if you want something a little bit lighter, then this is a good choice. Um, like I said, though, it does have that mohair in it. So keep that in mind. Um, and the wool, the wool and the mohair together, they, they give it almost a little bit of a rustic feel. It will soften up for sure with washing. But um, if you have somebody super sensitive to wool, or if you are sensitive to wool, then um, it might not be the best choice for that kind of a, a person. But you get such amazing color range with that mohair component. So um, let me see if I can show you guys the skein up close. You can almost see like there's some heathering going on in there. And that's because of the uh, mohair component. It's, it takes the dye differently than the wool does. So you, you get this kind of heathered effect with this color in particular. And some of the other colors have this nice heathering going on too. Actually, I've got these other ones down here in front of me. So let me kind of bring them up here for you guys to see. Um, like there's a lot of heathering in the browns. The natural, not so much, because you know it's just natural. And the green, uh, not really so much either. So it really depends on the color you pick. But some of them who do have that like really nice heathering going on. Um, so anyway, back to the yarn itself. Let me see if I can pull out the strand here so you can see it. Um, it is a single ply. It's a fairly tight single ply, so you can feel pretty comfortable using just about any needle that you're comfortable knitting with. Um, in my opinion, it's a particularly good one to use like a nice sharp tip metal needle like your Chai Goose or your um, Knitter's Pride Nova Platinas or something like that. Um, I think they're really, it's really great for that because you don't have to worry about splitting too much. Um, and then it's got a little bit of a fuzz to it. So it's a nice like grabby yarn, um, which I think makes it really great for um, felting. And I've seen a lot of really cool felted projects in this yarn over the years. In fact, I even saw, have some at home that I'm planning on making some felted slippers for my husband. And it, uh, it holds up really well, especially if you felt it. Um, so it, I definitely would recommend this yarn for that. Um, okay, so a couple last things to know. Um, it is not machine washable at all. So make sure that you're um, making projects that you are planning to hand wash or or felt them. Maybe you won't felt them on purpose. It definitely happens sometimes with yarn like this, but um, save yourself some heartbreak and um, be sure and plan to hand wash this yarn. Um, yeah, so that is the Lamb's Pride Worsted and it's a really great yarn, really nice, a little bit rustic, but I definitely recommend checking it out. And they have a really great color range beyond just what you see here. They've got pretty much anything you can think of in all kinds of shades in between. So lots of choice here if you're looking to make a color work project or something like that. So yeah, that's Lamb's Pride Worsted. I definitely recommend checking it out. All right, so that was Lamb's Pride Worsted, a really great yarn for warm pullovers and felted projects. I'm Rachel, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!